is and hey, folks welcome back to the channel if ever there's doing good you feel me this is a little project i've been meaning to do for a minute what i want to do is use this old honda tape deck that came out of the other wagon and make it into a little stereo system for the garage get started on building this thing i have this little power supply i don't know what it was from i just kind of hoard um stuff and it pays off sometimes so i got this um, power pack here um, it puts out 12 volts which is what the stereo runs off of so that's like perfect i think hopefully anyways i don't really know what i'm doing um, i'm gonna start off by cutting this end of the plug off and hopefully exposing hopefully there's just two wires in there but let's find out and i'm gonna go ahead and chop it off after this little thing right here i assume this has some sort of power regulating purpose so let's go ahead and snip this off here we got two wires i'm going to assume the red is power and i'm going to assume the black is ground but i am going to test it now when you do this you want to make sure that these wires don't touch obviously so let's keep those separated all right so we got 12 volts 12.37 volts coming out of that so I know I'm getting power so I can disconnect this from the energy source. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and extend these wires out. And then I'm gonna go on the internet real quick. I'm pretty sure the red and yellow wire here is the power and then the black is the ground, but I'm gonna double check. I have the power switched and the ground separated out and then I'm pretty sure I can just kind of tuck away. I'm not gonna cut all these off because that would kind of waste the plug and I can still reuse this down the road if I end up tossing this whole project out the window. So I'm going to go ahead and strip these up and then get them connected and extended for the ground and the power and then um, make the connectors after I have confirmation that this will actually start. Something just popped. So that's probably not. Oh! I do have some sort of number showing up there. So I am getting power. Alright. That's good enough for me. Um, I'm not sure if these lit up or not. I assume they did. All right, <clears throat> so I'm using these uh, Passport. I think they're out of a Passport um, speakers. They have these little tabs here. And so that's gonna make it really easy to connect using these little clips. And I'll use the red one for the positive and the blue one for the negative. All right, so now I have my little wiring kit assembled here. I'm going to go ahead and attach the uh, blue-green to the positive. Alright, so there's the uh, front left speaker taken care of. And then I can go ahead and do the same for the front right. Alright, <clears throat> All right. so this is basically what I'm going to end up with here. And I'm going to go ahead and test this tonight. And then tomorrow I'll make a box for this and probably wrap it in some of that fresh Burberry. But let's go ahead and get a official test here. I'm seeing numbers. Getting sound out of that one. Not really hearing any static out of the other one. Alright, I just uh, hooked up this side over to the uh, rear speaker wires. And let's take a gander.
So it looks like maybe this plug is depinning. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back out and see if I can't pull the pins in. Oh, if you look at that, the light came on. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Getting sound out of both speakers now. This one's a little louder than the other one, but I think that might be a faded. Injector gear, which hosts a rubber ring. All right, so I watched a little YouTube video. I emptied out the cassette thing. I don't even know why all this is in there if you don't need it. But let's go ahead and see if we can play some of this uh, copyright free music. I haven't switched back the, the uh, speaker. Blech. I haven't switched back the speaker yet, so it's going to sound a little weird. Oh, obviously it works. Let's see. So there you go. <laughs> That's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna give up, but then I was like, I bet you there's a YouTube video on this. Hilarious. So, I'm gonna go ahead and swap over this speaker and see if we can get these two to match up a little better. Alright, so I am gonna end the video here. I think it's pretty cool that I got this old school tape deck to work. Um, the light turned on randomly. Um, this tape deck came out of the newer, the newer wagon, but it, it didn't really work that well. And this tape deck thing didn't work at all. And we fixed everything except for whatever's going on with the backside over here with the, the front speakers, only the rear speakers work, but that's just fine. That's just fine. So yeah, I'm going to end the video here, you guys stay tuned for the second part. Uh, the, well, the second video, I mean, I'm going to build a box out of some of the spare wood I got over here I'm looking at, and that's going to be cool because that means I can get rid of that in, in a sense. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the second part. I'm going to build a box, wrap it in the Burberry, probably get some covers made for the uh, speakers there so, you know, they don't get punctured, get some, like, mesh over. We'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the videos. I hope you guys liked that one. I thought it would be really cool. Um little sidetrack video to throw together. <sighs> Peace out.